Hey everyone, I just shit everywhere. What the fuck? Dude, it smells. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty shitty intro. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's play this game. Even I hated that. I really. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Well, now we anyway, have. Though, welcome back. We have some Alpine Incline. Or we're doing Alpine Incline. Where we welcome back? Incline oh, I to say the that. Alpine. I forgot the part where I say like, "Hey, welcome back to Tropical Freeze." Um, may I take your order? Uh, yeah. Can I have a Whopper? No. We don't serve those. God damn. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Tropical Freeze. How many in your party? Uh, fourteen. Yeah. It's it was for my birthday party. Ugh, we're gonna have to like stick four tables together. Yeah. You didn't even say happy birthday. How dare fucking you? Damn it. Happy fucking birthday. <laughs> fucking thank you. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to the Oh wait, we already said that three times. Um You need to shut yeah, the so fuck we're, up. <laughs> we're playing Oh, We're playing some of the coolest levels in the game today. Mm-hmm. Um, starting off with Alpine Incline. Where we incline the Alpine yet again. Yeah. We climb the Incline Alpine. You really fucked that up. I, yeah. It was kind of shitty, just like your intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Um, this level's just super creative. It got like a lot balloons of balloons. And yeah. the floaty Ooh. shit. It just kind of floats. Uh. That uh. is a fucking noise. <laughs> That's the noise I make when I jump on top of owls. Oh, I see. It's a special noise I don't get to use very often. Because I rarely jump on top of owls, but whenever I do, you use that noise. I get to go. Ugh. <laughs> it sounds like my nervous puke noise from last episode, but trust it me, does. it does. Yeah. It is like this there's some nuance to it. Yeah, it's specifically like associated with owls. Yeah, it's it's like the nervous puke noise, but it's like staccato, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it has a little bit of incline to it. <laughs> yeah. What? Get those bananas. Sometimes, sometimes, I think maybe I should just not talk ever again. You know what? Sometimes, I agree. But then I think that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of commentary. So, you know. Fuck it. I gotta keep talking and saying shit. I just heard like a big bang. Unfortunately. A big bang. my apartment. Was it the universe exploding into being? Because that was a big What? <laughs> what? It's a joke. It wasn't a very funny one, but it was a joke. I'm I'm just gonna, I'm just worried my cat like got into something. You, you said big bang, so. Yeah. Yeah. How oh my god, it's so annoying. Yeah. It's so annoying. Whenever anyone like finds out I'm a phys like a physics major, they're always like, "Oh, do you watch the Big Bang Theory?" <laughs> <laughs> or like, or like, hey, you should watch the Big Bang Theory. I think you'd like it. It's like, whenever hey. anyone learns that I'm going to school for therapy, they're like, "Can you diagnose me? What's wrong with me?" And I'm like, Everything. "A lot of things." Everything. Everything. Just like a little bit of undiagnosed ADHD. And maybe some narcissistic personality disorder. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, whenever anyone finds out like, like, I'm into astronomy, they always ask me, like, one of the first things Do you think Pluto's a planet? <laughs> <laughs> and I always say no, and they always argue with me, even though. I know what I'm fucking talking about. Bro, you just lost your... My. <laughs> your... 
You're a little guy. Yeah, I just killed Dixie Kong. Because you're upset about Sacrificed Pluto. Sacrificed her to the abyss. Yeah. Look at all those big fucking balloons. Yeah, isn't it? It's just so freaking beautiful. I love how they wobble. Like, it's just so colorful and just mm -hmm. vibrant and just so creative. Yeah. I love this game so much. Especially when I don't fuck shit up, like, right there. Mm-hmm. Because if I, I love how if I mess that up, they bounce that's with the very you. end of the level, so I have, to, I have to, like, restart the whole thing. Or, like, kill myself and restart from a checkpoint to have another shot mm -hmm. at that if I messed it up, so... Mm -hmm. That would suck. Oh my god, that was... You were close. Very scary. Mm -hmm. Super duper scary. Alright. Yes. Well, that's that done. And now, it's on to another one of my favorite levels in the game. Another um, one? With possibly, probably, my favorite soundtrack from the whole game. And I can't hear it. I know. It's so sad. Upset. Do you spaghetti? I'd, I'd sing it, but like... I think that'd ruin. be... I would love that. I wouldn't. <laughs> I I'd hate would. it. I want to actually enjoy this song. Wing Ding. Two six. Wing Ding. Wing Ding. Wing Ding. That is a name. Just listen to this fucking music for a second. I can't. I know. It's very sad. You make me upset. Just like that penguin. They fucking killed. Isn't that so great? I, I'd say you're listening to it more, but like, I gotta actually like, talk about the game I'm playing. Like, it's sort of the whole point of this thing that yeah. we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Look at them bells. Oh, yeah. And look at those colors. My Ooh. god. The sunset, it's... it's just so pretty. It reminds me of when I was in middle school and obsessed with the Hunger Games and my favorite color was orange like the sunset just because PETA's was also orange. Uh, I, I see. Mm-hmm. I had a problem. I liked the Hunger Games everyone, a little too much. Let me know, everyone, when you were in like middle school in the days that you kind of like you remember them sort of fondly but also kind of cringe every time you think about them um which of the like popular fandoms were you most a part of like were you a potterhead were you into hunger games percy jackson whatever what was the one that you were like oh my god i love this one let me know can I guess yours? Um, I don't know if I really had one back in middle school. Well, you were obsessed like, with The Hobbit freshman year. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess that. Well, yeah, I suppose that. It always surprised me that you were obsessed with The Hobbit, but like never watched uh, The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. That's that bit where I was talking about like cringing a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, Man, I should have watched Lord of the Rings. Like, I'm pretty sure most fans of the Lord of the Rings would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you even seen Lord of the Rings yet? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I have. I actually, I watched it through once, mm -hmm. but it was actually a poor decision because I watched it, like, when I was at home, like, half sort of high after getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh. Um... I was like, you know what would be fun while I'm all loopy? Movie marathon. <laughs> Except the movies that I decided to watch were like ones you have to actually pay attention to what's happening. I, that, yeah, that is a poor decision. I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have no. just watched Jurassic Park because I know that movie like the back of my hand. Like I probably could recite the whole fucking script to you right now if I wanted to. True. I guess that's another one that you were obsessed with Jurassic yeah. Park. Yeah. I guess you could say I was 
with like, the franchise. Because, like, yeah. I did like 2. And this is the part that really makes me cringe a lot, is I kind of like 3. Mm. Even though now I think it's, like, really bad. <laughs> like, ugh. No. But back then, yeah. Like, I think back, I'm like, what the fuck was wrong with... Like, kids, kids though, they don't, they don't, like... They don't look at movies and go like, oh man, that was some really cool cinematography. I love the camera work on that shot. Oh, I love um, the acting in that part. They're like, hey, dinosaurs are cool. That's what's And cool. some, that's it. Some kids might think that it's some good some kids. cinematography. Those, those are the ones that grew up to actually be like filmmakers, though. Yeah, right. that's true. You noticed that and ended up going into physics. Yeah. Well, I, I noticed that stuff now. When I was a kid, I didn't. Do you notice it now? But like, but like now I look at Jurassic Park, I'm like, wow, this is a freaking masterpiece. Of like, just, not just entertaining, it's like, it's so well made. I look at it's Jurassic those, Park and I go, ooh, dinosaur. It's like one of those movies where like, there's not a moment that is wasted. Every single line in a script has a purpose. And like, mm -hmm. they accomplish so much in such a short period of time, it's really incredible like it's just in terms of writing it's amazing just the amount of work that went into like the special effects is mind-blowing to me especially mm -hmm. for 1993 yeah and it's just Jurassic Park is amazing but that level you just did was kind of wild oh yeah I love how it's we just so glossed cool. over I that I didn't even talk about it I said it was like one of my favorites it really is the zip lines and everything, it's just so cool. That part mm -hmm. like, where you go on the zip lines and you grab into the little thing and like, swing through the window. Yeah. Ah, such a cool... Such a cool part. So cool. So, that is the main six levels in the world done. Um, but before I go to the boss, um, I'm going to go backtrack because I unlocked another path from the secret exit on this level. So we're actually going to go left here. Oh. And we're going to do 2A Crumble Cavern. Crumble this one's pretty Cavern. Cool. I know Crumble Cavern in like alliteration, but like Crumble Tavern, I think would have been cooler. Hmm. But actually, this looks really cool. Trumble Tavern. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like taverns. It's cool, because like they, they've had this sort of autumn like mountainous theme for the whole world but now they mm -hmm. kind of deviate from that yeah and they have two I levels like... here that are like cave themed i like the mushrooms they, cool. are, they look cool oh yeah it, rem it reminds me of a uh, like one of the new lush caves in minecraft oh yeah yeah i haven't played enough of the new minecraft versions mainly because i'm scared of the freaking warden <laughs> yeah i'm scared well, I I I still watch a lot of Minecraft like content, but I I never play Minecraft. Yeah, I used to play it all the time. I haven't really played yeah. it consistently like since 1.8 really. Like I've, I've, mm -hmm. every once in a while I come back and like play it obsessively like for a month or two. Yeah. But then I then I put it down again for a while. I haven't like mm -hmm. played it consistently since 1.8. I all think I back. I was in the day. Fuck. Mm. I'm fucking. Sick. I. I think my problem with video games is I'm not just naturally good at them and then I get frustrated. <laughs> One game I recently got around to beating for the first time ever mm -hmm. was Portal 2. Was what? Portal 2. Oh! I, I played the first Portal like a million years ago. Yeah, I've seen I people bought the second play that. one, but I never got around to actually playing it. And ah. now I've beaten it, and that game is so good. It's one of those weird cases mm -hmm. where like the second game is way better than the first. Like it's Oh really? It takes everything that was good about the first one and just goes wild with it. Adds so many yeah. new concepts and I thought, it's just you, so I thought much you needed more like I thought you needed like two people to play that game. Um, there is co op mode. Okay. Which I've actually never done. Uh, but there like I've done the main story and everything, I've done that. Mm -hmm. And um, it has some of the funniest dialogue just ever. Mm -hmm. 
it's like it's hilarious. But also, amazing. it's just so creative. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you know who um, J.K. Simmons is. I've heard the name. Yeah, he plays a lot of iconic characters. He plays um, the mean band director from the movie Whiplash. I don't know if you've seen that no. movie. Um, he's really good in that role. He plays Omni Man in the show Invincible, which, by the way, Season 2 is coming out this year, which I'm super excited about, because, like, Season 1 was, like, one of the best shows I've ever seen. Uh, he plays um, J. Jonah Jameson in the, in the Spider-Man movies. Mm -hmm. He's just... He's really great. But he's the voice of uh, Cave Johnson in Portal 2. And he's really good in that role. That's good. But yeah. It's just such an entertaining game. It's funny. It's hilarious. And it's just overall a masterpiece. Nice. Because my official review for a game that came out like a decade ago, I think. I <laughs> When did it come out? I don't know. That you just got around to playing. I'd look, I'd look it up, but I'm playing it. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure it was a long time ago, because like that was popular like when I was in middle school. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. So. Oh well. Oh yeah, back to middle school stuff. Um, yes. Like now, I'd say that the, the um, other than Jurassic Park, the the franchise I'm most like obsessed with is Harry Potter for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, as you know, I didn't get into that until high school. So. Yep. And still, one of my biggest regrets in life is not at least watching the movies before going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. Yeah. It's an unfortunate one. Yeah. I've been saying it for years, but I want an animated Harry Potter TV show. Really? Because then you could get everything... Like actually, like book accurate, and put everything that couldn't fit in the movies, put them in the in the show. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be cool. They'd have to like read, like work some of the chapters, because like a lot of it's like sort of inner inner monologue sort of inner stuff. monologues and stuff. Like probably my favorite chapter in the entire book series is there's like almost no dialogue in it. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the spoiler alert by the way. Um, it's in Deathly Hallows where Harry's going out to the forest to die, basically. Oh my gosh, yeah. That oh chapter gosh. is so well written. It is? Oh my gosh. It's so good, but how would you make that into... Like, there's no dialogue. How would you make that into an entertaining... Honestly, like, I, I would just I be know. I'd just be happy if they didn't... If they just, like, the whole, like... That, that episode was just, like, someone reading the book. Like the, act, just, like, the actor just reading it. We need um, the audiobooks, and then someone needs to animate video to go over them. Yes. That would be fantastic. That'd I'd be, watch that. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with that is that the love for Harry Potter has gone down because J.K. Rowling's an asshole. I don't know. I mean, I think from general public... Love's gone down, but like from yeah. people who were already Harry Potter fans, they hate J.K. Rowling now. Yes, and right. But every, so. everyone hates J.K. Rowling, but we all still but love Harry Potter. They still love Harry Potter. Yeah. Honestly, part of the reason I hate her so much is because the way she acts goes directly against the sort of moral lessons she talks about in exactly. Harry Potter. Exactly. Like, she's a fucking hypocrite. It makes so, me so upset. It's so annoying it's mm -hmm. so annoying and the best thing though is that like a lot of the um the actors are like speaking out against her yeah which is like good. daniel radcliffe is straight up like yeah uh, like, fuck her basically yeah like, like what she has to say is not representative of what i have to say mm -hmm. and it's really sad that like he has to like defend to say that yeah her audience from her it's so dumb mm-hmm However, I do kind of wish that people let Daniel Radcliffe be anyone but Harry Potter. He's, like, trying yeah. so hard. It's one of those roles where I don't, like... 
if you play a role that iconic, mm -hmm. you're pretty much going to be known as that role forever. Yeah. Like, I love how Daniel, Ra role, Daniel Radcliffe like avoids it, but Tom um, Fel Felton, no. Yeah. Like yeah, is like so far into it. He's like, well, it's making me money. So. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, it's like name a role that Alan Rickman was in other than Severus Snake. Uh, there's there's a fair amount. Alan Alan Rickman. There's some. I just don't. I know can't. Any, I like, can't off top of my head. name them. I think because of our age. Because, yeah, that's true. Because he passed away when we were in our sophomore year. Mm -hmm. But. But I'm, still, like, yeah. you think Alan Rickman, the very first thing you think of is Snake. True. Immediately. That's, like, the first thing. Mm -hmm. Same with, I'm trying to think of other actors. Pretty much any of the Marvel ones. Like, True. Like, RDJ will forever be Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the first thing anyone will ever think of when they think of him. That is true. Um, What's the guy's name? Tom Hiddleston? Tom Hiddleston? He's Loki. Yeah. He's Loki. Mm -hmm. he Tom will, Holland. He will forever be Loki. Spider-Man. Yeah. Actually, honestly, pretty much all the Marvel ones. Yeah. Although there are actually a lot that have other great movies. Other. It's just now the first thing people... Like Scarlett Johansson. She's great mm -hmm. in a lot of things. But yeah. now everyone's going to think of her as Black Widow first. And then... Then anything else, else later. After. Yeah. Except for, me, except for maybe... um, Shit, what is his name? He's in Jurassic World too. Also. Hmm. And was in Parks and Rec. Um, I'm trying to think of. I don't watch Parks and Rec. Uh, I'm not Chris really sure. Pratt. Oh, Chris Pratt. Yeah. yeah, he might he might be one of the ones where I'm like, oh no, he's from other stuff too. Well, now he's gonna be Mario, which is a whole other. Oh my gosh. Thing. Yeah. Ugh. Well, the thing is, I think of him. I definitely now that I've watched Marvel, I think of him as Star Lord first, and then Owen from Jurassic World. But honestly. Yeah. After the first Jurassic World, where they went with this character was so, like, so, I don't know, I don't want to say boring, but he's not that interesting of a character, I feel like. Mm. He's much more interesting in the Marvel movies, I think. Th I agree. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, I could talk about this forever. We could talk about it next episode. Um, yes. Which will probably be pretty short, because we have 2B, which is fairly short level. We have the Temple level, which actually... If I get it quickly, it would be very, very fast, but there's a chance I'll fuck it up a lot because it's, it's it's incredibly hard. So mm -hmm. we'll see. And then we have the boss, and that'll be it for our recording session tonight. <gasps> oh my goodness. And then I'm going to try to get Sam on for World 3. <gasps> 3. So look forward to that. We'll get a little bit of a preview of it next time. Three. So yeah. Um, yeah, let me know. What, what's your favorite... Okay, what's your favorite franchise now? And which one were you obsessed with as a kid? Mm -hmm. And is there one where you loved it as a kid and now you're like, what the fuck? What am I thinking? Like, like a movie or a whole franchise, if that. I don't, I don't really just, just something you're embarrassed about from middle school. Mm -hmm. yep. For me, it's Jurassic Park 3. I mean, for me, like that shit. it's my obsession with The Hunger Games. Specifically, Peta. Hey, I mean, I haven't watched them since I watched them with you, but they're pretty good movies. So. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to not sit on a cactus. Ow. Bye bye. Bye.